Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Lily here, and I am bringing you a little experiment. I was just curious as to what happens when you upgrade a Vista machine to Windows 10. I was curious if you lose your files or programs. So I just whipped up a virtual machine right here, and I am curious to see what will happen. Uh, the media creation tool doesn't let you, well, Windows 10, the website, doesn't let you download the media creation tool on Vista. It only lets you download an ISO file. So, uh, yeah, you can't do it directly while running Windows 7 or w Windows 8. like like you can do it on Windows 7 or Windows 8. Gotta do it from the CD. So yeah, let's see what happens. Alright, we're at the uh, welcome screen. Let's see what options it gives us. Setup is starting. Uh, let's skip further now. I don't actually have a key. Oh, nice upgrade. The computer started using. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I have to start it from Windows Vista, apparently. That's fine, let's load it up. Let us see what truly happens. <laughs> okay, getting a conflicting message here. Let's try this again. Maybe I chose the wrong option. Alright, we're back at this screen again. This is not looking good. Well guys, this experiment looks to be a failure. You cannot directly upgrade your Vista machine to Windows 10. It's looking like the same situation as if you wanted to upgrade your XP or Vista to Windows 8. I mean, it makes sense. You can only support so many versions. But in the long run, there is no real reason to upgrade your Vista machine just yet. Uh, who knows, Windows 10 might not even run. Uh, snappy. 
enough on the machines that carry Vista since they're getting pretty old now. So, moral of the story, always try to clean install anyway. Upgrades are usually, usually messy. Well, I hope you have a great night. Thanks for watching. Click the like button. Subscribe. And I will see you in the comments.